Today we will use rhubarb with people from Manuel Bastioni's lab. I'm not going to go into detail about setting up a character in Manuel Bastioni's lab. A lot of people know a lot more about doing that than I do. All I'm going to say is you need to go to manuelbastioni.com Link in the description. Download the add-on, remembering where you put it, then boot up Blender and go to File menu, user preferences, add-on, install the file, double click the file, tick the tick box, save. Before, if you haven't already, downloading Rhubarb Lip Sync for Blender Link in the description Unzipping it, remembering where you put it, going to Rhubarb Lip Sync for Blender Link in the description Going into Blender again, installing Rhubarb Lip Sync for Blender by going to File menu, user preferences, add-on, install the file, double click the file, tick the tick box Tell the rhubarb add-on where the rhubarb exe, or whatever the equivalent for your operating system is, is... I'll save! And before starting to animate your character, you need to press this button. Finalise tools, finalise. I'm sorry, I've, I've, I've never had a sentence be that length before. Right at the beginning, you need to decide if you want to use inverse kinematics. And you definitely do want to use basic muscles. The inverse kinematics rig that goes with the Manuel Blasioni lab is a little bit strange. If you if you untick that box, you get access to a pose library once you've created the uh, character. And there's some very nice poses in it, which for some extreme, incredibly strange reason, you actually get a slightly different pose library for men and women. Manuel Bastioni worked on both Make Human and this, but I'm not sure why on one he decided gender was a slider and on the other he went to the other extreme to the length of believing that some poses are too femme for men. Anyway, when you have sculpted your person to satisfaction, you can then go to finalise tools. Uh, if, you have the f if you have the blend file saved already, then tick this pop, save, save images. Uh, I wouldn't tick the remove modifiers one and it will uh, it will save all the textures needed in the same folder it's asking you to save it there if you want to if you want to save it somewhere else that's up to you this is where you do that and now for what this tutorial is actually about in the manual bastioni lab tab we have this face expressions and we see we have quite a lot of face expressions that's a lot of shape keys so many that there's a reset expressions button at the bottom of it and at the top of it there's an insert keyframe and there's also a filter so we can search for the ones that relate to phonemes and we have more than one for each letter than the alf of the alphabet that's a lot of shape keys rather a lot now also these aren't actually shape keys and they they control shape keys but if we look at the shape keys look at it over here and we select the actual mesh we'll see that we have about the same number of shape keys that's a lot of shape keys but there isn't actually a one-to-one -one relation there isn't one there isn't one of these for one of these it's not as simple as that if we for example if we set the l one to one which I'm doing by typing in there, we will see that most of these are still zero, but that one's been set to 0.24, then that one's been set to 0.48. So like on the last tutorial, I ended up with about six sliders that can control all the different mouth shapes, and then we were able to select set them to drivers. Well, we can't actually set these to drivers. I've tried it. Look, we can even do this. But it doesn't, I'm not, I'm not going to go through the entire process of setting up a driver just to prove at what point it doesn't work because it's right at the end. It's just when it starts at, when you actually expect it to start animating that it doesn't work. So we're not going to do that because that's like, that's, that's a waste of both of our times. Okay. Instead, I've thoughtfully put in the description a list of, well, this is where I'm getting them at. I mean, I haven't actually written the description yet. I'm still making the video. I've thoughtfully put in, in the description 
a list of the shape keys that we will be using to control the mouth. So I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swap that for a text editor. I'm gonna go new, just um, copy and paste these. Oh, it may be worth noting here that we actually got this little plus here, and this has got a search bar in here as well. So if we want to find uh, expressions underscore mouth open max, I can just copy and paste. Whoops! I can undo, copy and paste that into here, and there it is. So yeah, the, like I say, these are the five ones that we will need to use to control uh, lip sync. I mean, the other the other facial expressions we've got here, we've got an insert keyframe here, and we've got the reset expression. We can use that to control his facial expressions as he's talking. Obviously, if we have one, if we have a facial expression that actually opens the mouth, that might break it a bit. I'm not actually sure. I think it comes down to whether it's using these particular shape keys to open the mouth or whether it's using whether that face expression is using a different set of shape keys to open the mouth. This may sound a little familiar. The rhubarb add-on uses a pose library. A pose library is an armature thing. So somehow we're going to have to create an armature and have that trigger all the five shape keys we need to create lip sync and the way to do that is with drivers. So the first thing I'm going to do with the mesh selected is I'm going to go through these, copy each of these into the search bar here, and then I'm going to right click, whoops, oh yeah, for, I've got to copy that in and then press return or enter, and then right click add driver, manually create later bracket single. And then I'm going to do that with each of these as well. Time-lapse. So now if I press that there, we'll see that amongst these however many shape keys, five of them have got them little purple pill shape on them, meaning that they've got drivers attached to them. And if we drag this up here and select graph editor, and this we turn into drivers, um, yeah, if you're using 2.8, once the add-ons have been converted to 2.8, which I sincerely hope they will, otherwise we're going to have to be jumping backwards and forwards, then um, we will be using, then there is going to be another driver's thing here. If, uh, like me, you're swapping between 2.8 and 2.79, it's worth noticing, noting that while you can't load a 2.8 file directly into 2.79, you can go to File, Append, and import all the objects into 2.79, which is, you know, it's close enough. It generally works. Anyway, that's a bit off subject, so let's return to what we were doing. We will see here that the five drivers we've set up, they're all listed up there. Let's put this tab on drivers, and I'm also going to drag that out a bit. So, the next thing we need to do is, cre is to create our armature that will control of these, and it will basically be a series of five little sliders. Note, I'm in front view and I've got perspective turned off, so that's keypad 1 and keypad 5 until you do that. Let's create an armature consisting of a single bone. Let's go into edit mode and make it considerably smaller. Yeah, I'll do. Maybe I want to make it even smaller than that, though. That'll do. Right, and I personally personal taste thing I like the stick shapes and I would also definitely recommend ticking the names box so that these are named we want five of these for the five uh, shape keys that we're controlling to create the mouth shapes and they're called right let's have some better names for them so I'm going to click the bones button here and let's copy there we go let's select that one Time-lapse. I mean, they don't actually have to have these names. I'm just... What's up with that? Oh, that top one. That should be called Mouth Open. I don't know if I just sort of failed to copy and paste earlier. And then that last one. I just don't need that 001 at the end. 
so that list matches that list matches well we can't actually see them at the same oh yeah let's go into object mode select that matches this list good that's what we're after uh you driver's window you need a little more space don't you okay we'll squash that 3d viewport out a bit i don't need that much i only need to go down to there good everybody happy are all the new areas of the screen you've you've ceased fighting over the screen real estate now we've we've, we've reached negotiation good so this one the driver for here we've got a variable in there called var we're not going to worry about the name of the variables the object well, it's called Armature, actually. We didn't rename it. And the bone is, what's the top one? Expressions Mouth Open. That matches that one. So that's Mouth Open Max. And we want it to be in exposition in local space. Oh, well, no, I've actually got to set that to local. And now we see that Y is up and X is right. That's local space for each bone. So now... If I go back here, if we set it to local space, and where it says scripted expression, we're just going to jump to minimum value. And for some obscure reason, it's important that we set that after we set this. It's probably some something to do with the reason that the order in which it loads stuff. We could also click that um, that that will that will speed up the next one. So no no now hopefully or no helpfully, if we drag this to the right. It slowly opens his mouth and I'm going to press alt G to grab that to the original position and now let's set up the next of them so that one selected what's the next one tongue tip up armature tongue tip up local space and either well minimum or maximum value there's only one value that is de deciding what the minimum maximum is and well, as this is controlling the tongue, we won't actually see what's happening until we also open the mouth. But now the mouth is open, we can see that we are actually controlling the tongue. So or A, A to grab all, Alt G to ungrab. And now we set up the last three of these. And I think this is where we go to time lapse. Time. Some of these are having more effect than others, but they are all having effect, which is what we're after. So A, A, Alt, G. I think that's, oh, I don't know. I think the key presses are slightly different for select all on 2.8. So I'm gonna pop that out of existence and drag that out of existence. And now I'm able to set up the pose library. So I'm gonna go to the armature buttons. Yep, yeah, I've got this, I'm in pose mode. And I've got this selected. And where is it? Pose library. New. Which, yep, called pose lib. I'm fine with that. And now if I scroll down here, we can see the uh, nine mouth shapes that rhubarb requires. So we can create those one by one. So, well, the first one is a shut mouth. Uh, note that we have to have all the relevant bones selected to create the pose library pose, the pose in the pose library. So with them five selected, let's press plus and we'll call this, I'm not going to try to pronounce that. I know I have done it on previous things, but I've got a cold at the minute. Right, so the next one, E. So this is with the mouth open a little way. So let's select that mouth open max one and just just a little bit open like this. A A to select all. And that one and this one's called, well, I'll call this etc. This is the one that's used for most of the consonants, apart from the consonants that are listed here. Apart from the w, f, u sounds, the rest of the consonants are pretty much covered by this shape here. Next we have, the next one is the E sound, an E eh rather than E. So if I alt grab and let's just have this one open a little bit more. Yeah, that'll do, eh, about there that'll do. 
and again we have to select all of them next one is AI and this one for this one I'm going to press this little plus here and I'm going to make sure this is set to one whoa or is that actually too much is that too wide a mouth let's 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 let's, let's put it there and again AA create and what's this one's called this one's called AI next one's an O sound so alt G move that to it and then we'll use that'll do next one's the W one for which we use mouth open O minimum uh, we'll set the X value to 1. And then I'll grab again. The next one, F or V, for which we have it. This one is controlled by lower mouth out. For which, we, again, we set the X location to 1. Select all. And then I'll grab again and then the next one is L which we want the mouth to be a little bit open like medium openness there and then tongue tip up uh, yeah very appealing that'll do again all And we don't need a rest one because we'll be basically using the shut mouth. So the only thing that remains is to go through this set of drop downs and set everything to the correct thing, to the correct pose in the pose library. And then that one leaves it on. So now we can uh, use this to add a sound file, which generally I'll use a WAV, and a dialog file, which is like it has to be a text file basically so if you write what your character is saying in a text file and do that you can import those two you can set the start frame and then you can run rhubarb lip sync otherwise from above we are buttons to subscribe to my own channel to subscribe to the man who created rhubarb lip sync's channel for the man who converted this into blender's channel and for manuel bastioni the creator of manuel bastioni's lab's channel just subscribe to all of them, we'll keep us all happy!